All right, welcome back. Uh, Ruti Waki Dele joins us now uh, as we take a look at the FIFA Under-20 Women's uh, World Cup and some other issues in the amazing world of sports. Ruti, let me welcome you. It's good to have you join us this morning. Thank you very much, guys. Good morning. How are you doing? I'm all right. <laughs> all okay, right. yeah, you should be all right, right? Against yeah. all odds. <laughs> Against all odds. Okay. We booked our place. Uh, in the quarterfinals, uh, I don't know whether we should be excited or we should feel that we deserve more. I, I don't know. I don't know. But the most important thing is that we're in the quarterfinals. Yeah, stick to this. Um, stick with the excitement. Nigeria, duh, I mean, it would have been bad if they have crashed out in the first round. So, at least uh, from that angle, we should be happy that we made it to the last date. And then um, let's see if we can ride on our luck and get to the final. Uh, yes, you can complain about our play in um, quality. Our quality. Over, decisions from the bench you know in, in in the last three games maybe not something to be happy about but at least they've done enough to get into the last set and you saw what it meant to them uh some persons have linked it to the maybe promised uh, uh incentive <laughs> and all of that but i think the you know, goal the goal for the team was to make it to the uh, you know, make guys, it out of that group and they've done that on social media you know these jerseys you know a lot of people were already i don't know if really wants to talk about it a lot of people were already talking about they lock the jersey. They place. lock. <laughs> a lot of people say, ah, don't wear that lemon green. Don't wear this. This one is the good luck chance. Don't worry. We are Nigerians. We always <laughs> coin a story out of something. Yeah. Uh, but when you saw this jersey, when the guys smiled, what were you thinking? I wasn't thinking anything. I just wanted them to play good football. That's all. Yeah, because the first two I saw wasn't particularly convincing Impressive. in any way. So I'm like, this is a team that... Uh, that scores well on the continent. Now you're at the world stage and you're struggling to score goals. Something is wrong. The coach had to come in and look for a way to correct that. Yes, um, defense-wise, we can be a bit confident. Like, okay, they don't concede much, but the moment you leave the defense and try to attack, what happens? Uh, it appears that uh, we are clueless, you know, somehow, especially going into the final third. So uh, when, the, when they fired out for this game, my aim was I want to see a good game and hopefully we can score enough goals to take us to the next round. It didn't happen again until that goal uh, came later on. An own goal, it must be said, at least officially by FIFA. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. This is the whole season. No, I'm like, I'm like, I mean, when we're watching the game, we're like, I mean, this is going to be another back-to-back -back exit at the group stage and all that. But somehow, I think what should be said is the fighting spirit of this game. Just the way Aisha Bello, you know, coming in, she came in as substitute and all that. That's why she still had the power to go on and everything. Everybody was there. Although you have a Dina Lahon also putting her leg in there. And of course, well, if she wasn't there, Jibade could have also... Uh, scored the goal. Just the way they work this out, it's something we always talk about in Nigerian spirit. Just knowing that you have to wait till the end. You have to keep fighting until <laughs> the game is over. You just don't give up. Yeah, you don't give up. Um, I, I can imagine what Jian Sheng Do is probably going through right praise, now. Praise our worship section. Uh, this is this typical along. with Nigeria. Nigeria. <laughs> no, no problem. I can imagine what Jian Sheng is going through right now. The the, the lady, yeah, the lady that calls her, call her girl. That's the lady that's called the own goal. Um, it, it was particularly very painful. If you're, if you're in neutral, or if you were in neutral watching last uh, yesterday, you probably have felt, okay, the Chinese uh, ladies deserve yeah. Yeah, to go through to the next round and all of that. But, of course, from the Nigerian angle, we all wanted to see them progress. Uh, they've, done all, uh, they, they've done that. Uh, Chris Danjuma was speaking immediately after the game, and like, you know what, uh, I like the fact that we didn't give up early, but I'm already thinking of the next game. That was just some um, 10 minutes after we just got a draw, and I'm like, okay. So you had Spain in your mind all along all before along. coming to China. Yeah. But, you know, uh, let's give them the credit. Uh, is it deserved or not? That's another matter. What next um, against Spain on Thursday? That's a big question now. Okay, uh, before we take a look at uh, the results and the fixtures, people, uh, in this talk, they leave me. Does this look like the Chinese team that we're used to seeing? It, it didn't look like that to me. Not like it didn't. Uh, Ch Chinese, it's, I mean, we expect them to give a good account of themselves, which they've Technically, done. Technically, they're better when it comes to women's football. They have a Danish coach for this under 20. They, yeah. They're not even using a Chinese man. They have a strong uh, developmental program. Brazil, USA, all of them, uh, they, they've got good structures, especially when it comes to female football. They are out of the yeah, tournament. Yeah. It's, not, it's not as if they didn't play well. It's just that probably they yeah, were just unlucky. unlucky, you know, to get and Sometimes the, it happens. Uh, of course, and that was what happened to, especially Brazil and USA, because I, I, I followed uh, the tournament closely. And, and then even the Chinese girls. Against AEC, yes, they struggled. Against Germany, uh, it was going to be 50-50, but with the Germans having the upper hand. 
against Nigeria, they would definitely fancy their chance of beating us and going through, which they almost did. But, I mean, football luck, uh, and then, um, unfortunately for them, Nigeria went through. So, their system is still in place. Their, their women's, their senior team is still one of the biggest and uh, biggest teams in female football, world football. Uh, I think they're in the top five or so. So, it's still a good Chinese side, but, I mean... Just luck. Just, just, they were just oh, unlucky. unlucky. All right. That's the truth. Let's take a look at the results from uh, yesterday, uh, confirmation of the results. You already know that um, we did the job. Spain and the United States played a two-all draw. Uh, Japan uh, defeated Paraguay. You also have uh, the Germans, 3-2 win over Haiti. And the one we just talked about, a one-all draw between Nigeria and China. Any of these results quickly come as a surprise before we look at the quarterfinal? Uh, <clears throat> maybe not. Uh, Spain, of course, gave up a two-goal lead to draw against USA, yes, sir, yeah. you know, uh, uh, maybe that uh, talking, sending us some good signals, if we can get our act right. Uh, for Germany, it was good. I mean, they struggled against the 80, that must be said. Kudos to the, uh, to the 80. I think they were the gallant losers, All right. as far as I'm concerned, from the group stages. Japan, they were going to trash uh, Paraguay, so it was no surprise. All right, so. <laughs> they knew what they six needed days. to do. Yeah, the, and Paraguay was in six in the last game last against USA. USA. So, yes, so they knew they can actually do that. They did yeah. that. Let me check out the teams that qualify for the quarterfinals. It's more like uh, both Nigeria and uh, Spain, you know, had it like till the die minute before they were able to make it out. Japan had a very easy game. More like it. Yeah, J Japan had an, an easy game against Paraguay. I mean, those are the kind of fixtures you pray for. You know, when, when you're in this kind of series. Uh, for... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. But for Spain, uh, yes, they had almost done the job I mean, before playing USA. But they just knew the United States girls would be very difficult, you know. And uh, so I'm, I wasn't surprised that it ended 2-2. I, I, I felt the USA was going to win that win, game. Yes, I and and Spain was going to depend on the result from the other center to confirm, you know, their qualification. But mm -hmm. as I said, the United States uh, ladies were unlucky. And it was pretty good. For, for the French national side, they knew they had to do it against Netherlands, and they stepped up big time and defeated Bonnie. Netherlands, uh, who had um, already won their first two games. So uh, France, Netherlands, you know, fantastic um, teams yeah. qualifying from their own group. Uh, for the English ladies, I felt they were going to struggle against, I mean, they were 1-0 down at halftime against Mexico. And they came back in the second half to win 6-1. This is a team that had um, a coach that is... I think it's, this is a fourth thing or third yeah. thing, you know, with this on the 20 side. So she's used to everything. So you should watch out for uh, England, France, Germany, these European uh, powerhouses. And maybe you can't rule out Japan as well. But one of Japan and Germany will have to go up. <laughs> okay. And I think Germany have the advantage. Your semi final play. Like, yes, that's where I'm going. Okay. Spain I'm going like to start Jam from the bottom. Germany, Japan. Um, I think I'll give it to the Germans. Germans. On, t on tactical grounds, yeah. if they sleep up, Japan looks like it's a Japanese are them. naturally gifted. They, I think that, they're that, that's, and they're very fast. So uh, for England, Netherlands, Netherlands are debutants, but they have a very, very solid uh, female football structure as well on, on, on their own front. But I think England, somehow, probably with the experience of the coach and all, will come into play, and England might just edge this one. France, North Korea, the defending champions are North Korea. Yes, not the same set of girls. Some mm -hmm. of them are still in it. Against the host nation, probably with the luck, uh, with the with the uh, with the fans back in their own team, uh, France have a very very solid advantage of going. Solid, to, they, they, yeah, not they play, sleep. They play very well. Yeah, apart good, from good. being the host nation, they play good football. They they, they are clinical finishers. So if uh, North Korea have struggled a bit, yep. so I think France will edge that. Spain, Nigeria, uh, Spain surely knows uh, uh, know how to score goals. Nigeria can defend. But um, we we'll probably, if we want to help Inadoze on on Thursday, the defense has to be more tighter. And then anytime we get a chance to hit them on the break take or something, chances. just take your chances. That's what we've been failing to do. Spain, Nigeria. I'll probably say Spain will edge it on paper. But my heart wants Nigeria to go through. The trust is okay. Uh, right. they, I mean, let's leave your heart now. Just talk about the, <laughs> the te technical aspect of the game. I mean, <laughs> yeah. if you, I mean. Man for man, woman for woman, player for player. It's Spain. Department, for, for, department. department for department. Department for department. It's Spain. It's man Spain. on the bench. It's man. Spain. All of those parameters. Yeah, because... Uh, Fighting to the if, end. If, if, even, okay, even well, what about that every, last parameter? Fighting to the end. Team, <laughs> every team fights. <laughs> 80 were... Uh, we felt we were going to lose by yeah. as much as five, six goals yeah. against Germany. At Me some too. point it was 2-0. At some mm -hmm. point it was 
three one, and they were still fighting. They had nothing to play for. They just wanted to play for pride, and they still pushed the Jamas all the way by you know scoring um, another goal. Then they're three two. Every team has a fighting chance. Everything has uh, that fighting spirit, especially when you need the result. In the in the quarter final, Spain will want to exhibit their own fighting spirit. It depends on who scores first, and then Nigeria as well want to do the same. So. Uh, if you look at other parameters and just say you want to concentrate on fighting spirit, I don't <laughs> think that would give us an advantage. So, but looking at other departments, um, how well they play, yes, the Spaniards are not known to defend well, but do we have a strong team or do we have the team or can to we set ourselves up to put them under pressure to actually concede goals? We've not been scoring goals in this tournament. Do we look like we can put up um, an, an eleven? that can score goals against Spain. Those are the kind of things we should look out for. Those are the kind of things we should try and correct before Thursday, 3 p.m. So, uh, if, on paper, it's Spain all the way. Uh, they, the possession football, uh, they are very fast. They dribble nicely. Look at the way the, uh, the, the, the Chinese get lady took out our defense. And I mean, probably out of uh, fear, you don't want to touch her because any touch in the box might just lead to a penalty. We should expect more of that from Spain. But... Um, I'm hoping that we can somehow coin something that could, you know, just just uh, work in our favor Soak somehow. Just see if we if we go into the Spanish game with uh, with the way we started the Chinese game because at some point in that game I felt maybe they felt you know what we just need a draw. So yeah. Let's let's take back. Play let's contain these guys. It will put put us under a lot of pressure. Come out and play your football. Even whether the Spaniards, whether against the Chinese, play your football and let's see what happens. If you try and defend early on. And you get punished. Okay, play your football, right? I'm confident with the fact that you know Spain actually considered two goals in final ten minutes of that. It game. doesn't so matter. <laughs> maybe that's my just. Maybe, uh, they, 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 were, they were playing. They were playing against USA. We also exhibited fighting spirit. Of course. But it wasn't enough. Yeah, okay. it wasn't enough. It wasn't Americans enough. They got go two through. goals. And, yeah. I mean, they, they needed one more goal, mm -hmm. but it didn't they happen. Didn't Just like the Chinese. Needed, probably they should have, you know, it should have been they like four relaxed. nil yeah, or five relaxed. nil at some point. But ninety eight minutes, uh, okay, looks like we've done enough. And then somehow, somehow. our long balls, our maybe, crosses. Maybe that. Do, do you know how many times we crossed in this game? Yeah. And it didn't materialize into anything, anything. solid. So the coach, <laughs> let's the just take positive. All right. But take positive, mm -hmm. okay. Let's move away from this one now. Let's talk about what's happening to David again, and of course to Manchester United team. Uh, I mean, it's all about him. I mean, the club is actually confident that he's going to, you know, sign a new deal. I mean, Real Madrid has a new keeper, so I mean. So, so if, if, if he was going to leave, that would have happened um, in Miami uh, when they met during preseason tour. He uh, wouldn't have returned. He probably wouldn't have returned. The deal would have been sealed. But uh, like knowing before. that um, David De Gea is represented by the same man that represents Jose Mario, oh. Oge Mendes, the, the agent, it's simple. Keep this guy for me. I don't have anybody coming into this team for now. Or else I will be an agent anymore. <laughs> or oh, I will be a client. I will be a client anymore. I'm just saying, yeah, from, from, I mean, from that angle, it's, it's pretty simple. Uh, they if, had a sit down, obviously. There was a sit down. Of course. If, if they had left, would Kutra come to Manchester United? I don't think so. I don't think so. So uh, name that big goalkeeper again. Even Chelsea had to struggle to replace a, a, a Kutra, and then they had to go for a Kepa. Who, who knows Kepa? You know, except if you watch that league so well. Money. Yeah, so well. Yeah. I, I, so it's, it's going to, it was going to be difficult. If the hair wasn't going and Kutra had his mind on, on Real Madrid, then just let him go and keep this man for me. This is his ninth season with United. He's just 27 years old. He has a lot of years. He's played 316 times already for United. So um, I think for him to, he, he might just want to be that big guy, you know, or that um, household name. Probably the greatest goalkeeper for Manchester United. He's won uh, Player of the Year back to uh, back. So you think he's going to be settled now? Of course, he's going to be settled. Where, where is De Gea okay. going again? No Nowhere. Way. So he's going to stay at United. Okay, let's talk about the player that has left. I mean, <laughs> talking about Cristiano Ronaldo moving to Juventus. I mean, the friendly game he played, the first friendly game he played for Juventus. You have a city that have about four thousand people, but well, five thousand came out Showed up to watch, watch him play. <laughs> to watch him play. Yeah, because there, are there lot of you visitors. have the guy. <laughs> they have there are a lot of visitors coming. I mean, it's Ronaldo. He's big. Everybody's talking about there's there's, there's more attention on the Syria now because of Ronaldo. Mm -hmm. uh, the Jesse sales have been, have been mind blowing. Astronomical. You know, uh, a, a whole lot of things are changing and then everybody you know, wants to take the Serie A more serious now because the Ronaldo is there. Uh, so I, I'm not surprised. You have 5,000 
going to a city that houses 4,000 or a town. Let me let me use a, a town that houses 4,000. So it, it's really not bad. Can they go on and win the Champions League? That's the question on everyone's mind in Italy now. Okay, we'll see. We'll go for a break and we'll come back. We'll review the papers.